I haven't done many puzzle game series on the channel because I'm not sure how entertaining people will find them, and if you have feelings on that score, please drop them in the comments below. But I do play a lot of puzzle games in my free time, and 2017 has been a really good year for that. So, in the spirit of the season of celebration, I just want to take a moment to talk about why I love puzzle games, and call out a few that I really enjoyed this year. Most of the enjoyment I get from games comes from trying to solve them, but a lot of games, and this is particularly true of strategy games, which obviously I play a lot of, are designed to resist being solved. They want the implications of your decisions to be somewhat unclear, they want you to not be sure what the right thing to do is. The process of digging into a game and learning the shape of its mechanics and decisions is the thing I'm into about strategy games, but it can be a murky, indistinct thing, and sometimes it can be very unsatisfying. The process of solving a puzzle game is based on the same kind of logical exploration and deduction, but making that progress fun and satisfying is the core element of their design. While puzzle games don't often build narratives in the same way that strategy games do, and sometimes their abstraction and simplicity can make solving them too easy, the rush of a good eureka moment really isn't equaled by anything else I experience in gaming. It's like a blast of minty fresh air directly onto my brain, which I guess sounds kind of terrifying and probably is not something you should attempt to recreate in real life, but man, if I could have that feeling every minute of every day, I would. So here's some cool stuff that has given me that feeling this year. I probably don't need to talk about Fidel Dungeon Rescue or Steven Sausage Roll much because I've already made videos about them this year, but if you don't know about these great games, go check those out. I really had a lot of fun with both of them. Sidewords is a weird little spatial word puzzle that Elise and I played together earlier this year. You fill in a grid by making words, which fill in the spaces that join the rows and columns of their letters. The concept is simple enough, but it's interesting that you have to be careful how you spend your letters because it's not that difficult to walk yourself into a position where there's just no way to use the space you have left. Square Cells is a slightly more complex Picross style puzzle game from Matthew Brown, the guy that made Hex Cells. If you're familiar with Hex Cells, you know what you're in for here already, a short abstract game that relies heavily on deduction. If you aren't familiar with Hex Cells, maybe you should be. These games are very cheap, by the way. Zombie Night Terror is the best Lemming-style game that has been released in a very long time, and while there are certainly enough uh, zombie apocalypse games around now, there aren't very many where you play as the abstracted idea of the apocalypse itself. I covered this pretty thoroughly when it originally came out, and, again, when the expansion was released earlier this year, but I have a lot more subscribers now than I did then, so I think it bears mentioning again. Also, I really, really wish there were more games like Lemmings. In much the same way that Square Cells is a more complex Picross-type game, Everyday Genius Square Logic is a more complex Sudoku-like game. The basic concept of each number being unique in its row and column remains, but a number of new mechanics are overlaid on that in interesting ways. Also, it has literally 20,000 puzzles in it, which is certainly a point in its favor if you're into this stuff. I've spent a lot of time playing with this in little bursts over this year, and I know that I'll continue doing so for a long time to come. Opus Magnum is, without a doubt, my favorite puzzle game of the year. I've been a big fan of Zektronix's output ever since Space Chem, and I think this is by far their best looking and most accessible game. One of my favorite elements of this and previous Zektronix titles is the friends list integration, where it compares your solution in three different ways to your friends solutions. Uh, this has compelled me on a number of occasions to go back and rebuild a solution to just barely edge someone else out or just to try to figure out how on earth they managed to do that. I really had a tremendous time constructing ridiculous alchemy machines this year, and if this looks good to you and you end up liking it, I really seriously strongly recommend going back and checking out some of Zektronix's other stuff, especially Space Chem. Finally, I know a lot of great stuff came out this year, and I know that some of you are out there are fans of puzzles as well, so let us all know in the comments if there's something you really enjoyed that you think people might have missed. Uh, come back soon for just as much positivity as I can muster, and we'll see you then.